Hello, everyone, and welcome. A very warm welcome to, to everyone joining us today, and, and also if to those of you who, who might be watching this recording back. Um, my name is John Whitaker. I'm the Academic Summer School uh, Manager here at SOAS. And I've got my colleague, Ruha. And I'm Ruha. I also work on the Academic Summer School alongside John. And yeah, we are the, the summer school team at, at SOAS. So, so if you're, you're applying, for the summer school if you're having any questions then it's it's probably going to be Ruha who, who helps you with, with those but but it's me and Ruha we're a two-man two-man team and uh and yeah we will be the ones helping you and, and guiding you through through your application process all the way up until until you arrive and you and you start your courses um, and even afterwards as well so it's really great to to meet everyone and and hopefully we we can have a chance to to meet you all properly uh, this summer uh, but today we're, we're, we're introducing you to, to what we're doing on the summer school this year uh, and uh, giving you uh, a bit more information on, on what to expect uh, this summer. Um, and so, yeah, here we are, here we are on, on what, what we're going to be, be talking through today. So an introduction to SOAS for anyone who's not so familiar with, with SOAS as an institution, we'll, we'll give you a bit of a back, quick, brief uh, overview. Uh, we'll also look back at uh, what we did last year and, uh, and uh, what the summer school experience was like last year. We were online last year, so we'll talk a bit about that. We'll then look at, at what we're doing this year and uh, give, you, give you information on, on what to expect, a bit of a day in the life and, and what, what additional uh, things we're, we're doing on the summer school and, and everything you can expect this summer. Uh, and then we'll talk through a bit about the application process, a bit of the admin side, uh, a bit of uh, scholarships that we offer and, and discounts, and then end on a, on a Q&A if anyone's got any questions. But we, the chat is open, so if you have any questions along the way, then, then do just put it in the chat and we will we'll see them and, and we'll, we'll, we'll address those as we go as well. We'll, we'll keep it very uh, informal if we can. And we'll try not to take up too much time uh, and we'll try and keep this as, as brief as you can, really. Um, so I suppose without further ado, I'll, I'll hand over to Ruha to, to give our, our, our introduction to SOAS. Yeah, I'm just going to talk you through kind of a bit of background about the university itself so you can kind of get to know SOAS. So SOAS was established in 1916, and I think anyone who has ever studied or even worked at SOAS would probably agree in saying that it's quite a unique and very lively um, institution to be at. Um, I think one of the things that is most special about us is definitely our kind of global reputation for our expertise in the study of Asia, Africa and the Middle East. And I think that that is quite a unique geographical focus. Um, it's not something I think you'll typically find at other universities, not just in the UK, but across the, the globe, really. And it's reflected very much in the kind of courses and the programme that we offer, as you'll go on to see later um, in the summer school. I think another thing that makes SOAS so special and so distinctive is our student body. And you might be thinking kind of what, what makes our student body so special, what makes a SOAS student so special. And I think probably the best way to characterise a SOAS student would be to say that they are incredibly diverse in their thought, their opinion um, and in their backgrounds. But I think they're united in being quite um, politically active, very kind of socially and globally aware of the things that are going on around them. And there's very much um, a kind of um, approach of taking your studies beyond the classroom and applying them to the world around you and even to SOAS itself. Um, I think SOAS students are very involved with um, the university and what goes on and we have a very active student union as well. Um, and that kind of links into and also explains the, that, the fourth point on here about the role that SOAS really plays in leading in global um, government policy and the kind of the role it plays on the international stage. If you have a look at any of our alumni, you'll see they've had quite um, really exceptional careers on an international level. We have politicians, past presidents, members of the royal family. And I think that's just very impressive and also a testament to the kind of students we attract. And that's very much reflected in the students that are interested in our summer school too. Um, although we spend probably a shorter amount of time with them, um, I think it's very clear that they have that same kind of ambition and drive in the things they're interested in. And also the things they go on to do after having studied with us. Um, so I'll move on to the next slide. So this is just a quick look back at 2020. I'm sure all of you know 2020 was a very strange, very challenging year for all of us. And um, for summer schools particularly, it was challenging because it meant we couldn't offer our usual on-campus programme, but we very quickly made the decision to move online 
In fact, we were the first UK university to do so. And I think we did so very successfully. Um, I think you can see from some of the quotes on the screen here that people were very satisfied with what we offered and we were able to attract a record breaking number of over 280 students from over 70 countries, which again links back to what I was saying earlier about our students being very diverse and very um, international. Um, we did so, yeah, very successfully. I think that you can see a quote here about um, kind of being able to gain a lot of different perspectives from our kind of very diverse cohort that we had. And it's really a nice opportunity to kind of grow your global network um, and get to know some really like quite fascinating people. Um, one of the things that was amazing about going online so early as well is that we've had kind of a great deal of experience in learning um, how best to deliver online teaching and online learning. And I think this year, um, although last year went so well, we've been able to really grow and develop and optimize our delivery for this year. So we're hopefully gonna offer an even better program. And then I think we're just on to a quick video that's going to give you an overview of 2021, but we'll also talk you through it um, shortly after. Yeah, I mean, um, just to jump in there, Ruha, if I can, before we show the video. It was, yeah, it was a, it was such a strange, a strange year, wasn't it? So we we were all set to, to be on campus in, in 2020 and then had to change our plans really, really quickly um, before the summer and and yeah it, it was it was a bit crazy but but we managed to do so and had this kind of remarkable summer and, and an amazing year as, as Ruha said kind of record breaking numbers as well the, the most students we've had uh, uh, for our summer school so it was it was an amazing experience actually and, and it's given us then that experience of, of, of improving what we did last summer and, and improving that for this year um, and and so as you can see that the feedback was 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 so great last year and, and that's testament to, to kind of the academics and, and what we did in terms of trying to move things online but being able to then work on that and, and improve that for this year gives us such a I think an advantage over over some other universities who are doing summer schools who who might have you know not been as not been prepared for last year and, and decided not to run their programs last year um, and are now doing so for the first time online this year. Um, it gives us a little bit of a, an advantage and a bit of a, a step ahead of, of the rest of, of the rest of uh, the competition in terms of we've, we've been there before and we, we now know kind of what what worked and what didn't uh, for a summer school online because it kind of is a bit of a, uh, a an online summer school it sounds a bit a bit odd people people come to do a summer school to to experience a new a new place to travel to to come to a new city and and to uh, experience uh, not just the the kind of learning experience but to 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 explore a new city as well and a new place and that's that's half of what makes a summer school so appealing so doing that online is a completely different prospect but um we've 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 tried to give as much of, of the on-campus experience and in-person experience as we can online um, and, and make our online experience as close to to what you would get uh, on campus I think so there's been a lot of work that's been put into to our, our, our the way our programs run uh, to, to make them as interactive and as engaging as possible it's not just an, an online experience where you you go in and, and do a bit of reading and, and and watch a video it's it's much more interactive and uh kind of hands-on than that so so yeah as it's, we, we're, we're trying to make it as close as to what the experiences that you'd get if you were coming to SOAS and, and you were doing these these courses in person and that's what we try to bring bring online and so yeah, should we should we move on to to twenty twenty one? Oh. Yeah. Show you a bit of a bit of a taster of, of what's to come uh, this year by watching this uh, short video.
And there was the, the SOAS campus there just right at the end. It makes me miss being on campus, uh, seeing seeing our old campus there. We haven't been on, on the on campus for about a year. So uh, yeah, it's actually nice to nice to see SOAS again. Um, OK, so so that gives you a bit of a, a quick uh, taster of, of what to expect this year and, and mentions a few things that we'll talk about here uh, in the next few slides. Uh, but to give you an overview of what 2021 will look like uh, this summer. So we have nine uh, courses, uh, usual kind of unique, very, uh, very SOAS-y type courses. It's, it's, it covers kind of the, the main areas that, that SOAS kind of focus on, focuses on, um, which we'll, we'll come on to talk about in, a, in just a second. But just to give you an overview of, of how the structure is. So we have two sessions, um, they're two week blocks uh, with a week in between. So uh, all courses are two weeks duration. Um, they're full-time courses. So you don't kind of choose uh, a number of courses in one session. You, you study one course in that session and, and study that course full-time. You do have the option of, of studying two courses in both. So back-to-back, -back, so one, one course in each session if, you, if you'd like to. So you, you would then study over four weeks as opposed to just two. Uh, and we do have discounts if you're if you're looking to to take two courses, which we we will come on to a little bit later. Um, and so, as you can see, we're, we're we're focusing here on on conflict, on international development, on gender, law, uh, protest, development, social change, activism, sustainable sustainability, climate change. Uh, media and gender international relations we have a new course for for 2021 in, in the objects museums uh, and people in the 21st century uh, that's brand new for this year uh, but you see a real real focus here on what SOAS really specializes in uh, is is our kind of global outlook and um, the social um, the social kind of aspects that our students really get involved in um, and, and what our stu what so our students uh, are, are kind of studying studying uh, in their degrees as well. So it gives you a good taster of, of what SOAS offers. Um, our courses are, are credit bearing, so so you you can earn fifteen credits per course. These are UK credits. Um, you can transfer these credits back to your your home schools if if you're looking to do so. Uh, and and the fact that that SOAS awards credit can often make that a lot easier for for home institutions for your schools back home to to recognise uh, the study that you do here at SOAS over the summer to to recognise that credit credit and transfer it back home as well. Um, but that's not to say that everyone takes these courses for credit. We you know the we get a, a range of students taking these courses from, from undergraduates to postgraduate students to, to graduates and, and, and professionals then working in the field. So one thing that makes our, our summer school program so unique and quite special is, is the, the range of people who you, you will come into contact with. So um, you'll hear perspectives and views from, from people across across the world, but also from those working in particular areas, perhaps as well, that, that are just kind of totally fascinating. So a lot of what makes these courses so great is, is hearing from, from the other students, as well as, as, as our academics as well, who are equally engaged in, in uh, their specialisms and, and in these, these topics that, that we're covering here. Um, so we, we have two, a two week block and then we have a week in between that's a kind of a, a week for, for students who are studying in session one to, to complete their assignments. Then we go into session two and, and the students on session two will have a, a week after that to, to complete their assignments as well. Um, we'll go on to talk about what's kind of covered uh, and, and as I said, kind of what a, a day would look like typically on these courses. Um, I'm just wondering if I've covered everything here. Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. So, you know, as I said, it, you can study for credit, and, but if you're if you're a, a professional or uh, you're working or you're you've graduated and, and perhaps not looking to use that credit, that's totally fine. Uh, you can you can come on the course and and either take the assessments and just have the credit 
as a as a bonus or you can you you don't have to participate in the assessed elements of these courses and then therefore you you would not receive credit then for for the course but if you're looking to get to earn credit then just make sure you you're you're completing the the assessed parts of this of uh, of the courses and you will earn 15 15 uk credits there um okay moving on to to the next slide so all all of our our courses this year are delivered online so we're online again for 2021 things are things are opening up in the uk a little bit more now um but it's kind of a slow gradual open up um and we're only kind of just getting started now things things are getting better but we didn't really want to have any uncertainty for for you as as our students to in terms of what you were actually coming and signing up for so so we took a, a decision early on to to be online again this year no matter what really um because it went so well last year hopefully next year we'll we'll be back on campus but for this year we're we're delivering all of our our courses totally online um and i'm i'm sure people watching this if you're if you're studying at the moment then you're very used to how online study can can be um by now uh, we've all been doing it the last year we like to think that our model that we use is is tried and tested on our distance learning and our, our the online programs that SOAS uh, has been running the online degree programs that we run this uh, we use the model that we're with you using on those courses we've we've uh, we've brought that onto onto the summer school uh, so it's, it's a tried and tested model that, that works and that has gone down very well so we use a, a mixture of pre-recorded pre-recorded lectures uh, and live live sessions live tutorial sessions alongside those and and in and between those we'll have uh, activity sessions that are, are giving you a taste of various different things that, that we do at SOAS uh, and these could be live these could be recorded as well um, so I'll go through here so you might have so a typical day and this is a, a kind of very busy full-on day is it, they won't always they won't all be looking like this where you'll have a every hour is filled with something but this gives you an idea of the different things you might do at a, at a particular day so in the morning you might have an, an introductory or you probably will always have an introductory lecture and this will be pre-recorded um, it could be half an hour it may be an hour then you'll have some reading to do uh, associated with that lecture and the topic of that lecture and then you'll bring that all together into a live tutorial session with your with your course convener and with your fellow students to discuss the readings to discuss the lecture just to, to uh, discuss your understanding of, of the topic there and and to, for you to ask any questions so we still have that face-to-face -face element there that, that students you know value so much um, as part of these courses um you'll then have have a have a short lunch break and and then in the afternoon you may have one of our activity sessions that are arranged by by ruha and i centrally so we we will arrange various different uh fun and and interactive sessions such as you might might have a session on on uh, from one of our, our music teachers who 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 will teach instruments from all over the world whether it's middle eastern instruments african instruments but we we may have uh, various music kind of sessions and we've got a, a little clip coming up for you later uh, what those can look like uh, it could be a yoga session we, we've run yoga sessions in the past online which again is something that, that has probably been done quite a lot over this last year but um is is something that we can all get involved with um and we'll also have um media workshop sessions which we'll talk about later so you may have something like that, or you may have a group exercise to do with your course. You may have some activity to do. You may have an assessment, uh, a short, a, a kind of mini assessment to do as part of the course, which could be something like review an article or uh, write a, a very short piece on 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 a reading you've you've done, uh, a kind of reflection on on one of the readings you've done. Uh, and then at the end of the day, you'll have. Uh, uh, summary lecture of, of the day or it, this could sometimes be used as a as an introduction to the following day um, but you will generally have two pre-recorded lectures um, through the day to, to watch in your own time and a live tutorial session uh, each day 
So those are, those are kind of things that are static that you'll have pretty much every day is the tutorial and the tutorial, live tutorial and the recorded lectures, but you'll also have various different activities interspersed with those throughout uh, the two weeks of your course, uh, whether it be a centrally organized uh, activity session that, that all students would attend from all, 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 all the separate courses where we'll all come together. So it's a bit of networking as well, uh, or it could be a, a group exercise within your course that you do in the afternoon as well. And with our live sessions, we've tried to hit the, the various time zones that, that we know you, you guys are going to be coming from. So early in the afternoon, UK time usually kind of works for, for the various time zones that, that you're probably sitting in. So a lot of the time you'll be able to, to attend those live sessions uh, in person. But if for any reason you can't, they, they will all be recorded for, for viewing later on. So you... You won't miss anything. Everything will be recorded for you um, if you're unable to attend. Um, but hopefully we've hit times that allow you to, to join in person as well. Just going to see whether we have got any questions. We haven't got any questions yet. Um, OK, should we move on? I think that's, that's all for a day in the life. So we're going to talk now a little bit about uh, some additional features that that we offer as part of these these summer school courses. So it's not just it's not just the courses and the core lectures and, and tutorials. We, we're offering a wide program of, of additional things that we think uh, will add add value to to your program as well. Um, that are, are free of charge. We, we're not we don't charge any more. They're they're included within your tuition fee. Uh, and so we're going to talk a little bit more about about these and, and the, one of the main things is is something that's quite unique to our program and that's our media skills and uh, lectures and workshop series which we started last year and these are focused on career enhancing skills and uh, employability prospects we think they add you know it, it, as well as your course is preparing you for for the careers that you're looking to go into there's often uh, skills that that are essential to to putting yourself out there and, and making an impact in whatever kind of uh, area you're looking to go into. So so these these workshops that we're offering uh, will it, are designed to equip students with uh, the necessary skills to kind of go out into the big wide world and and be able to impress maybe uh, prospective employers or um, know how to, to handle different situations, different challenging situations that you might come up against. So we're gonna show a short video here, which was a, a video from that we did for last year. Um, we've got some updates that, that we'll be doing for this year, which I'll talk about, but this video should give you a good sense of, of how these, these media skills workshops will, will, will run and, and the benefits they'll, they'll give you. Thanks, Ruha. Hi, I'm Simon Crutchley and I teach practical workshops on the MA courses at the Centre for International Studies and Diplomacy here at SOAS. A couple of miles north of here in Highgate Cemetery is the grave of Karl Marx and written on his tombstone is my favourite quote. Philosophers have only interpreted the world, the point is to change it. So the idea behind our summer guest lecture and workshop series is that you should walk away with a goodie bag of skills you can use straight away. Past graduates have gone on to write speeches for the UN Secretary General head multi-million dollar startups and run big projects for NGOs in the Middle East and Africa, amongst many other things. The workshops are arranged in four broad areas, speech writing, presentations and pitching, power relations and interview skills, writing with specific reference to CVs, and we also look at voice and body work and how to overcome nerves. Each will be of immediate practical relevance and provide a skill base you can carry forward in your career. It's going to be a tough couple of years ahead and we want to give you a head start. You're with SIRS because you care about the world and how it could be, thinking globally and acting globally. The skills we teach in the summer school series are the tools you will need to do just that. Looking forward to seeing you this summer. That's Simon. Simon runs our, our media skills workshop sessions. Um, Simon's a former editor at the BBC, uh, is very involved in, in um, the media landscape within the London and the UK. And, and he brings in a lot of his, his friends and guest speakers who are, you know, they, they're, they're often uh, acting uh, news reporters uh, and journalists um, and are really fascinating people that he brings in to, to deliver guest talks and, and to do our workshops. 
and he himself is is a very dynamic uh, person uh, and you'll you'll get to know him well um but he yeah he kind of he he's not afraid to to put students through their paces and and throw them straight in at the deep end uh, in some of these these workshops but it's all really fun and, and light-hearted so it's a it's a great additional uh additional uh kind of thing that we're we're offering here on, on in the SOAS uh, summer schools and we think it adds a lot of benefit to, to your alongside your your studies it's something that we do at SOAS on our on our de degree programs it's something that we offer our SOAS students so um these these workshops are taken straight from from our, our degree programs as well. Um, and it's something that SOAS is, is training our students to be. So, it, so it's, it's training students to be able to go in front of a camera perhaps and, 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 and do a piece to camera if they have to, or, or, or speak about a, a certain uh, world issue uh, on the news or something like that. So we're, we're looking this year, we're, we have a bit of a theme for the, for, the, for the workshops that's around the theme of storytelling. Um, and all of our, our workshops are kind of around that theme of storytelling. So you, you could be writing a, uh, a speech. Uh, we, one, of our, one of the workshops is how to write a speech like Obama in, in under an hour. Uh, and so Simon will, will take you through how, how Obama uh, would, would structure his speeches and, and how you can, you can use that, that uh, uh, tactic as well. Um, how you can how to present and, and, and skills for public speaking. Also job interviews and, and CV writing, how to, how to improve those and, and make those the best as you can. And it's, re it's a real deep dive into uh, how the media spin stories and tell stories and, and you know, how the different forms of media we consume uh, can influence us uh, in, in many different ways. So, and a lot of the, a lot of the things Simon teaches will feed into to the, the things that that you're doing on on your various courses it plays into the various topics that that we teach here so it, it's it's really something that adds adds great value and benefit to, to all of our courses so that's a bit of a, an overview for the media skills workshops and and these will run um not just there might be a few sessions as your courses are running but we will they'll also run in the week after courses uh, finish as well so you'll have plenty of time to to kind of focus on your your core studies and then and then go on to the media workshops as well um, we'll be releasing more information about these workshops and and if you, you you've applied or you've inquired and you're on our mailing list we'll we'll be sending you more updates uh, over the next few weeks about those so you'll be kept informed on what to expect but if you've got any questions then do let us know and i'm gonna stop talking there and hand over to ruha to talk about some of the other bits that we're offering You're on mute. Yeah. Ah, okay, got it. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about some of our other extra features that we've included this year alongside the media skills lectures and workshops that, as John mentioned, are really kind of designed to just make sure that you have a very, I think, well-rounded experience of SOAS. Um, I think even if you spoke to some of our SOAS students, they'd probably tell you they're involved in a number of different things. And I think the things that we offer on the summer school really kind of give you a, a flavour of all the different areas of um, things you can get involved with at SOAS. So, of course, as John mentioned, we have our media skills lectures and workshops, which are very much kind of designed around pushing your kind of uh, political communication and um, employability skills. And we also have some slightly different sessions. So we have a yoga session that we um, we're going to run this year, which is led by Amasu. She is the president of our yoga and meditation society, and she's been teaching yoga for over 20 years across the world and um, most recently in Cambodia. And we actually ran a session with her earlier this year. And I think it was just amazing I think all of our students were just so pleased with how it made them feel especially when you're kind of sat in front of a laptop um doing online learning um a yoga session is a really nice kind of interactive way to kind of break break that barrier a little bit and have a chance to relax um and you don't have to worry about your experience levels I have absolutely no experience in yoga whatsoever and it's definitely made to be accessible to all students you can get as involved as you like um so no need to worry about that we also are introducing for the first time um, a world music session with live demonstrations. So the musician in question, we're going to have Said Silbeck, who is a Palestinian musician, who's going to introduce you to some um, music and instruments from the Arab speaking world, as well as kind of demonstrate a few different instruments for you. We're going to play a video shortly as well, so you can get a bit of a feel for what he does and what he offers. 
but um, it should be really interesting. Hopefully they're instruments that you've not ever kind of come across before um, with a bit of background and context to kind of explain um, the, the music from that region of the world. Um, one of the benefits of joining the summer school is also that you will be able to become part of our global alumni network. So as I mentioned, we have a pretty kind of fascinating cohort of, of alumni at SOAS um, from former presidents to uh, politicians to filmmakers. Um, and you will essentially be able to join them in kind of gaining access to exclusive SOAS events, news and updates, which is really exciting. Um, and then finally, you'll have the opportunity to meet some SOAS students. I think this is really, really important, um, especially if you want to get a feel for maybe SOAS, um, if you're considering joining us for postgraduate study, or maybe you just want to take another online course. Uh, meeting SOAS students, I think, is a brilliant way to kind of get a feel for what it's like to study at SOAS, to study in London, um, and just kind of uh, UK universities in general. So hopefully that should be a really fruitful session. Um, I'm now going to play you a quick video um, just to give you a bit of a flavour of what the world music session will include. Um, so I'm just going to play that now. actually really nice to to see the the lyrics and see what see what they actually mean um i really like that lost a slide come back okay technical technical issue <laughs> cool we're back. We're back um we're back yeah it's really nice to actually see the the lyrics yeah. of the songs and, and hear what see what they're actually saying um yeah and you can see in the back of the, the video he's got clearly absolutely tons of instruments so hopefully he'll have something interesting for you i'm sure um one of those things that you you just see at soas is is just people maybe playing instruments like that and and being able to just listen sit and listen to people and have these experiences that you don't really get elsewhere and and it's just because of the the kind of collection of students that we have at soas and and the the world kind of global uh expertise that that we have at SOAS and, and the, the regions we focus on it you just get you have shared experiences that you just don't get anywhere else and it's just one of those things that make it special so we're trying to bring that into our online uh, program and, and share those those experiences with you guys as well um, so hopefully that that's yeah that's something we're looking forward to cool okay so I'm going to talk you through our application process um, just to give you a bit of a feel for what you have to get involved with if you want to join us. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, if you want to join us this summer, all you need to do is apply using our online application form. Um, we'll email out links um, and have them basically all over our website on our social media, so it shouldn't be too hard to come across. And it's not a very um, lengthy application form. All we need is some basic kind of contact details, personal details. And then we ask for a short personal statement just to kind of get a feel for you know, what you're interested in, your motivations for joining the course, and maybe kind of what you would like to use the um, course for. So after that, if you are successful, you'll receive a conditional offer letter, um, and you confirm your place essentially by paying your tuition fees, um, and then you'll receive an unconditional offer letter. Um, if at any point um, you need to kind of, you need extra time, please just let us know, drop us an email, and we'll definitely be able to help out with extending um, anything that you need um, and working around that. And then finally, all you have to really do then is just kind of wait, we'll get in touch um, shortly before the course with a welcome pack, including kind of instructions for our online library, um, accessing the online learning environment, um, reading lists, anything that you'll need will definitely um, provide for you. So no need to worry about anything. And then that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward. Um, and then you can enjoy your summer course. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, 
fees and discounts and scholarships now, which also kind of ties in with the process. So um, the tuition fee is £1,600 per course and the deadline is the 31st of May. But we do have, as you can see, a range of different discounts and a scholarship available as well, should that be of interest to you. So our ambassador scholarship deadline is actually coming up soon. So if you are interested, please do think about um, getting an application in um, soon. We offer three scholarships. Um, which are full tuition fee waiver scholarships. Um, and all you have to do is send in a short video just explaining kind of the difference that you want to make in the world and a little bit about yourself. Um, and we'll get in contact with you and let you know if you're successful. Um, you also will kind of get involved in a bit of um, ambassador work. So um, maybe writing a blog post for us, maybe doing a bit of social media work, um, which is really quite exciting um, to be featured on the blog. Um, and then we also have a range of discounts you can see on the screen there. So. Um, we have an early bird discount that um, will be ending at the end of May. So again, if you are interested in that, please do get your application in soon. Um, we also have a discount for students who wish to study two courses. So if you want to study a course um, in session one, as well as one in session two, you would be eligible for that. And then for our students who joined us last year, um, we'd love to see some of you back. We'd love to welcome you back to the summer school again. So you will be eligible for a 50% discount on your tuition fees. Um, and finally, if you study at any of our partner universities and um, you will also be eligible for a discount, um, please just make sure you have a look at our website and we have a full list there. Or again, drop us an email um, and we can check for you and make sure that's all sorted. Um, anything I missed, John, on that? I think so. No, I think that yeah. covers it. Cool. OK, um, that's pretty much everything. Um, but we'd be happy to take any questions if you have any or if not, please do get in touch with us. Um, on our email, social media, um, or give us a ring and we'll be able to help you out. But are there any questions at the moment? Let's see if we've got any questions that come in. I suppose one thing I forgot to mention in, in terms of talking about how the various sessions that we have through through a day is that all all the, the learning resources are, are accessed through our online learning environment. Um, that, that's kind of internal to SOAS. So, so it's all in one place for you. You'll access your, your live sessions and your readings are all there for you. You also have access to uh, the SOAS library that, that has thousands and thousands of, of unique collections. Um, so that's a, a vast resource that uh, our students are very lucky to, to, to have access to. It's a national uh, research library. Um, so it's got some things that you don't find anywhere else. Um, so that's one of the benefits. Also, as, as Ruha mentioned, another benefit is becoming, by taking a summer school course, you 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 become SOAS alumni. So, so that, and with all the benefits that um, our SOAS alumni get, um, you will receive as a summer school student. So that's another, another bonus. Um, I'm not seeing any questions coming in. So perhaps we, we've covered everything so well that uh, that we don't have any questions to, to answer. But as Ruha said, just do get in touch with us uh, on, on by our email or, or any of the options here. Uh, we are very happy to answer any questions you have and, and assist you with anything. If there's any issues you're having with your application or, or with any anything at all related to, to coming uh, and joining us this summer, then let us know. We're, we're very happy to help and, and we're extremely excited uh, about this summer and, and uh, really looking forward to, to welcoming you all properly to, to SOAS, be it, albeit online, but, but you're still coming to SOAS and you'll still be a SOAS student and you'll really get a feel for what it's like to, to study at SOAS and, and, uh, and hear from, from the very special people that, that make SOAS so, so unique. So do come and join us, do let us know any questions and uh, we look forward to, to meeting you all this summer. With that, I think we'll we'll sign off and say goodbye.